Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're diving into a hot topic in skincare. You've probably seen countless recipes online for DIY skincare, homemade face masks, moisturizers and serums. But the big question remains, is it safe to make skincare products at home? Stick around because we're about to unveil the truth. Before we get started, it's important to know that creating your own skincare products can be fun and rewarding, but it also comes with responsibility. Let's address the elephant in the room. Is it safe? So is it safe to make skincare products at home? The short answer is yes, but there are some crucial caveats. The safety of your DIY skincare depends on a few key factors. The most important key factor is do you know your skin type? This is the deciding factor on which ingredients to use in your skincare. If you've made it this far in this video, I'm quite sure you already know. But just in case you don't know what your skin type is, the best way to find out is to wash your face, wait an hour. After an hour, does it feel oily? Does it feel dry? Does it feel oily in a few spots and normal in a few other spots? For the sake of this video, we're going to say that your skin is oily. I know, for instance, by doing my research online, that jojoba oil is great for oily skin. Not only is it great for oily skin, but it's great for normal to dry combination. And it's also good for sensitive skin. Here's a screen recording for you guys where I researched the jojoba oil, the clear to be precise. And you can see as I go through the recording, the properties, what type of skin that it's good for. And then you'll also see some recipes that I'll click over to in just a couple of seconds. The supplier's websites are the best sources of information on any of the ingredients that you're going to work with or that you're going to purchase. You know, you can see um, how much it costs. You can see if it'll work for the type of skin that you have or for the person that you're making it for. You can also find recipes. It will also tell you normally where the material comes from and tell you how it's manufactured. And it'll also let you know how much um, you can use in a recipe or what the recommended rate is. This is another supplier that I also purchased from on occasion. And just for research purposes, I went over to this website and looked at the jojoba oil, and it pretty much said the same thing. So we know that we can use this at a 100% rate, and it's not going to hurt anything. And what this means is using it as a 100% rate, that would mean that you could just put it neat right on your skin. You could just open the bottle up and you could put it on your skin and it's not going to hurt anything. So that's a good thing to know. Um, but I don't think that I would use it this way. And I don't think I would use it even at 25% unless I was making, you know, uh, an oily product like possibly a beard oil or something like that. So to recap, know your skin type. Research your ingredients to make sure you're not allergic to them. Our suppliers are where we purchase our ingredients are the best source of information. However, there's so much more to learn about making DIY skin care. And I'll continue this in one of my next few videos. Some more key aspects that you really need to know to make your DIY skin care safe at home. So... If you've made it this far again, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life.